Hi, uh, fellow Vipers around the world. This is uh, Joe, the Village Viper, coming at you from Ireland. And uh, it was my birthday a while back. So just basically, you know, the family, we get each other, well, you know, get each other a few presents and that. And I write, always write down a list of the last few years of of uh, mods or tanks, you know. So, um... It was great, and my brothers um, picked up this, the uh, Aegis X uh, Zeus, kit, Zeus uh, kit, sorry, tank with the Zeus sub ohm, which I really like. I'm a big fan of uh, Geek Vape, I'll show you. I have, a, I have the Geek Vape Aegis uh, Legend, uh, I have another Geek Vape X here. And uh, I'm a real, like I said, I'm a real big fan of uh, Geek Vape. I see they've just done a new, a new tank. I think it's called the Z, the Z Tank RDA. I definitely want to get my hands on that. But anyway, this is about this kit here. So we're going to have a look round the box. It's a two mil version, which is a shame. I'll have to get my hands on a Zeus. They're easy to get a Zeus. Uh, bubble glass five mil so have a look around the box not much going on really uh the back there if you wanna if you wanna uh pause it and uh look five watt or 200 watt of course way too much for me but um yeah i just love the 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 geek vape mods you know i'm more of a a tank collector than a mod collector I, I just want a mod that's reliable and and works and uh, the geek vape does that for me so I can take this sleeve off and uh got a nice geek vape box the usual black box take that off and da -da, there we go get them out of the way after nice gear i have been using this so sorry if it's a bit uh marked up and that I'm not going to go through, oh, I love this design, I also have it on me, legend, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, like, you know, it's, if you don't know, it's a twin, uh, dual 1850s, which I have in there, they clip in nicely, you just slide it back and put it in, and, you have your screen, uh, oh, it's not on one, two, three, four, five. Yep, there we go. And uh, it's lovely bright screen, you know, it has wattage there, uh, no atomizer, of course, nothing on the top. But um, I'm like I said, I, I'm not going to go through all the, you know, I'm, I'm just a wattage vapor. I'm not really into temperature control and all that occasionally if i have a steel coil i might use a bit of temp coil but it's basically one two three uh, one two three we usually get you into or one two three four five no that's up one two three no i'll tell you what we're gonna forget about that right that's uh, have a look. lovely 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 tank sorry about the light shining on it but Nice, nice, uh, nice, um, uh, spongy 810 connector there, you know, gold plated. It's a bit of all, like I said, I've been using it. But anyway, let's have a look further into the box. Take that out. And, uh, it's a nice, sturdy box. Always like that. Good box. And here we are. Get the accessories box out. Tell you one pain in the arse I had with this, excuse me, fingernails as well. I, I, I've been gardening the past week or so, you know. The nice weather over here in Ireland, so, you know, it's been... You get a decent uh, USB-C, is it? No, it's, it's actually not. It's, uh, yeah, of course, because it's a, be, be an old enough kit. No, it's just US, uh, usb it's not type C, but like this is all right for an emergency. But I recommend you, you know, have an external battery charger, a good mate like Nike or that. But you know, I mean, it's a 
It's a decent lead. It will charge it up and that if you're stuck. And then we have a whole load of O-rings, which I did actually have a bit of trouble with one of the O-rings. You have this, which is a tool to take off your... I'll show you now. It's uh, plug-and-play coils on uh, the tank, which are, the coils are lovely. You get a couple of coils with it. I'm show you them in a set. One I've used, actually I've thrown out. It's gone. It was well used. It did last a good while. Also, you get... Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I never looked at this closely, whatever it is. I think it's... Uh, oh, it's a re replacement plug for the USB port and a few grommets. I don't know, a few spare... Yeah, oh, a few spare screws for the the casing, you know, you, you can actually, I think, take this off and change it. I, I wouldn't be bothered doing that myself, you know, but some people like to customise and that, which is fair enough. So, yeah, you've some screws if you want to do that, which is good. Uh, also, yeah, here it is. Oh, what have we got here? Yeah. Uh, oh, I think that was one of the one of the coils was in there. Some it was in there anyway. And you have the Zeus kit, the user manual. This is very useful if you do want to get into all the settings and that. Like like I said, I'm a wattage vapor. I don't really like reviewing mods and that but because I'm I'm not actually very uh, very good at it. You know, I don't have the, the patience to go through all that I prefer the practical side of things and uh, yeah geek vape what we got here it's bloody arms like stuck isn't it didn't know it's that what's in there something important maybe geek vape sent me some money for doing this review no I don't get paid not yet and it'd be nice to down the line yeah you just get some warning battery card warning a uh, Picture of the ages solo, nice mod. Not for me though, because I think I think it's an internal battery. Uh, some internal battery mods are okay, you know. But I'm not into. I'd rather have a, a eighteen six fifty or a twenty one seven hundred. You know, ah, can't get these bloody look. Put them to one side, yeah. That's the easiest thing to do with them. Out of me way. And here's the tank, yeah. So it's uh, I love the Zeus tank. I actually have the the normal standard Zeus tank. Just the uh, yeah. So there's the sub ohm tank. You have the top airflow. The say Zeus, you know, the king of top airflow, and it is effective. Excuse the. The watermark says where I've just washed it out and uh, unscrew the bottom there. Nice, uh, very nice threading. This is a coil now. You can use your little thing if you want. That just fits in there. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you know what? I'll just pull it out with my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So that's your coil there. That's the inside the glass. Oh, you get a... Uh, sorry about that. You also get a spare glass, which is a bit of a disappointment because it's just another two mil. But, you know, it's handy if the, the one you have breaks. And that's it. You get some bath salts. Not the type you have a bath with or sniff. Shame. <laughs> nah. Uh... Yeah, so this is one of the, yeah, give you a look at the tank again. So that's it, the juice sub ohm tank. It's nice, you know, different. Always wanted to, uh, soon, I know it's been out a while, but I really wanted to try it. So when my brothers opened me present, I was actually delighted that it, it, it was the, the legend. It was the Aegis X kit with the Zeus sub ohm tank yeah and here's the coil so these coils are 
the one I used was 0 0.2. This is, oh, I can't bloody see that. This is, no, that's not telling you that. Ah, here we are. Yeah, it's camp full. 60 to 70 watts, 0 0.4. And you did get two coils with it. So I got another coil. I'm going to have a quick look at it. So I think. I'm pretty sure this is 0 0.4 as well. Made in China. That's no surprise. Uh, no, no, no. That's not the same. What is this? I think this is the same, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. This is 0 0.2. Yeah. 70s to 80s. So you either have the can for 70 to 80, 0 0.2. This is exactly what the kit came with. Yeah. A 0 0.4, which is going to be 60 to 70, and your slightly higher ohm 0 0.2 is going to be 70 to 80. So whilst I'm waffling on, I'm going to get some juice. Uh, which one am I going to use? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to use a 0 0.2. Get a bit of liquid on that. And uh, yeah, like like I said, I I uh, very fond of uh, geek vape tanks, and you know? I'm just gonna sort out a flavour to put on this. I think I know what I'm gonna use. Yeah, um, yeah, so I did. I'm gonna put some. Uh, this is good stuff. Uh, Moorish is flawless custard. I'm just gonna put me. I should have a vape rag here or something. Some old face cloth or ah, this tea towel will do. So I'm just going to put this down and I'm going to prime. You always, before you put a, a coil in, you know, you probably see a lot of people do it. You always want to prime it, give it a drop, you know, a nice big drop where your cotton ports are. And it really does help, you know, it stops you from from getting a, you know, burning, ruining your coil. You know, I see that soaking in nice, see there's four ports there. So another nice good drop on there and see that's all. Oh, there's one more here. I know, I've done that one, it's just thirsty, you see. Soaks right in, so it will give it another couple of drops, yeah. Always prime your coils, always, you know. Or if you do put it in, you know, you've just got to wait a long time. And look, you know, look, it's a bit messy, but have a tea towel or something, put a bit of oil down around the middle there. So kind of, a, you see that inside there? It's kind of, it's campful, but it's, yeah, it's a mess. It's a kind of a mess coil. I actually like mash. And right, I'm gonna get this old tea towel out of the way. Just get the any old oil that's gonna drip off there. So well I'm gonna yeah, the only trouble I had with this I quickly tell you was the uh see all the O rings they give you a lot of O rings in there. But yeah, the which O ring was it? Yeah, this bugger here. This O ring here when I've got just when I changed the cord up, it was all janky and, you know, so I had to sort out these. I've got a new one, put it in place and it's fine, you know. So it's handy to get the extra. And so you get your, your coil. You do have two little square notches and you've, you see the little square notch there and a little cut out there. And get your coil and get the notches on the coil in line with them. Yeah, that should do. And then just give it a push and you'll hear it click, which is a good sign. That means it in then screw your bottom one. Like I said, it's a shame it's only a, a two mil tank, but oh well. Yeah, nice nice threading and uh that glass must have been a bit loose or something nice threading and 
top like all Zeus tanks just opens up like that. Uh, what did I say? I had custard, so I'm gonna pull some of this custard in. Sorry, there's a bit of a uh, bit of old juice left on the tank. That's from where I was using it before. I had a, I think I had a blueberry custard in it. I lo like my custards, but I'm just gonna put this more. It's just flawless in here for now. It'll do, you know. So I know that'll take a bit more. Be careful filling it. You know, I oh, never, never put it down the middle while we, because you just make a big mess and uh, end up sucking up a load of liquid into your mouth, which isn't nice. I think even seasoned vapors <laughs> make that mistake sometimes. So it's just half a turn. So I'm gonna sit that down there. Gonna have a quick vape. Oh, yo, oh, excuse me, I've got a blocked up nose on. Soft from hay fever. Gonna have a me cup of tea. No, there we go. Always have to have a cup of tea. Oh, that's lovely. And if you want to know what I'm chugging on, I've got me vindicate uh, with the yeah with the dad rabbit version two. Looks quite good, doesn't it? On the vindicate. Yeah, there it is. And I have the honeycomb slot on. Oops, yeah, caps. See, gonna shut that down a bit. Actually, that's that's a, that's good tolerance on 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 this. And uh, gonna have a toke on this now. It's about I don't know what what it says. About eighty watts. I'd say I think the build's coming out to about one point four. So. Mm, that's nice. Got a bit of cinnaberry crumble in that. So yeah, just you can see anyway. Just while that's uh, soaking in, you know, I'm well into me into me geek vape, me me, me geek vape mods. You know, I just uh, actually, do you know what? I just uh, I just like them there. Like I said, I'm not into... I had... i tell you what, I had the Jackaroo. That fucked up on me. Just broke, just went. Threw it all around the place to see it. Got it back working for a while. When another really nice mod I had that went on me. And I really liked it. I only had it a few weeks. I should have wrote off or something. So I just couldn't be bothered was. uh Actually, it was my vapes, the, the recurve. Yeah, yeah, the recurve, squonker. I had that, and it was a great one. I was loving it. Then all of a sudden, the fire button just went. Wouldn't work, simple as that. So I had to, took it apart, tried to fix it. Fucking impossible, just fucked it up even more. And once you've done that, you know, you can't send it back. Um, tell you quickly, the worst mod, I ever had for breaking down and problems was the Mag 3. I even, the Smock Mag 3, I even had it replaced. And the other one broke down. Uh, I also had two Smock Mag, no, two Smock Kiss, you know, the Smock Kiss, it was a double A in 650. And the two of them, broke up, no, I was disgusted, you know, I said to myself, yeah, I like them, smock, mate, quite good tanks, but I haven't much time for their mods, the only mod of theirs that I like and has kept going is this, my RPM 40, and I do like it, and I have the, I even have the RBA for it, is. But other than that, I would never, I would never buy smart. I buy their tanks. I like their tanks, but I think their mods are crap. So anyway, right, I'm gonna put this on. This should be soaked in enough. I'm gonna put this Zeus sub arm tank. You know, I was really happy when I got this actually, and it's on a 
74 watts. You know what? I'm going to bring it down to 70 because, especially when the call's just new, bring it down to to 70. And I'm going to go up and tell you what I think, yeah? So. <sighs> Oh, just positioning the camera, how oh, your vapors good to, to see you. So, yeah, that's it. That's the uh, Geekbite X, Aegis X with the Zeus sub -ohm tank. So, should be all right. Now, I'm just going to give it a little couple of breaking puffs. But, uh, yeah, here we go. 70 watts, yeah, so... Mm. Yeah, very nice, good, uh, lovely, uh, lovely warm vape. Gonna have the airflow full open now. I'm gonna turn it down halfway. It's a bit too much air for me, but uh, yeah. Mm. That's lovely, that is, because I know Morris's Flawless Custard is one of my me, me favourite e-juices, so um, this uh, 0.4 coil makes it taste at uh, 70 watts. It really tasty, and you know, I have a very good little tank. Pity you can't put the RBA. I'm just going to quickly show you something um, about Geek Vape. You see, I have to of a Zeus tank, I actually have the mesh, I'll show you, I bought the mesh base, so I have the mesh base in there at the moment, oh, <laughs> caps come off, there's uh, the mesh base, I bought that separately rather than, you know, having to get the, the whole tank, I'm just gonna, and it, it, I'll tell you one thing, it's it's the best mesh tank that I have. The spring system on it, and that works really good. It's uh, you know as long as you put enough wicking in that, there's no dry hits off it. And there's uh, just to show you the Zeus X, the original base. So that's what I don't have. Does it be nice maybe in the future to get another Zeus? tank but you know for those if you don't know you can get separately uh, it's not that much it's seven or eight euros where i am be could be that in pounds over in england or somewhere else i don't know but yeah you can get the mesh base so it's a definite must for zeus fans you know if you want to swap but i'm gonna have another token on this to sub home uh so just going to push it, it said 70 to 80, so I'm going to go up to 70, 77 watts, air flows half open, here we go. Mm. Yeah, really, really nice flavour, you know, very impressive, good coils, and yeah, mm. Mm, nice, really smooth, smooth. That's what I like about it. It's lovely and smooth. And, um, yeah, it's a good buy. I know my brother's got it from Vaping 101 in England, which is to, to do some fantastic bargains. I think this, the kit, yeah, and a tank as well, all the, you know, the free, well, basically the tank, you don't get the batteries, you don't, another con is, you get a spare glass, but it, it's not the, it's not the five mil tank, but you can get hold of that separately if you shop around, I'm going to have one more puff on this, but I tell you what, this whole kit, like, I, I definitely give, well, I love the mod, I love the Geek Bank mods, I, I give that 9 out of 10, and the tank, the, the tank, I'd, I'd give 8, 8 out of 10, you know, because it's sub and yeah, it's lovely. 
So this would be great for a vapor who's on the pan or pods and wants to make uh, the transition into something a bit uh, a bit beefier. You know, I'd be not not satisfied. Excuse me, I've hay fever all and stuff pollen in my eyes and that. But um, yeah, if you want something beefier, you know, I'd go for this. this. Is a brilliant kit. You're getting a brilliant tank. Pity they didn't, you know, make this, even though it is sub-owned, they didn't somehow make it re the RBA that took sub home tanks as well, you know, because of this sub home tank, the, the dual coil and the mesh deck you can get now for the Zeus tanks, brilliant, you know, it's lovely, I love mesh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's really, really good. Really juicy, nice, um, yeah, nice, moist, tasty vibe, that is. Yeah. Very impressed. Good job, Geek Vape, on that. Uh, well, the mod don't, I know you probably <laughs> know about it, but I'm getting a bit vapey. Lucky I'm on my own and it will be giving out. Uh, yeah, very nice, sir. Uh, yeah, good job, Geek Vape. Listen, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll be doing some. <laughs> I've got another Geek Vape thing I want to show you, so I'm going to do another review about it. But subscribe. I'm going to be. I've got a good few tank uh, or RDAs and RTAs I want to do. So, you know, if you like my channel, the content, and that, um. Subscribe, you know, I'd be really grateful if you did. And uh, I'll have videos coming. I didn't do a video in a while, there was a serious illness in the family, so everything was up in the air. But the village favourite is back, and I'll be doing a review or a couple of reviews every week. See you later, vapors. Vibe on and vape safe. Bye bye.